I have another one, Ms. Uh, Regina Bus. I would like to ask the committee if they would consider Article 11 for the master plan. Jason, that's his name. Uh, yeah. I'm to for it. Article what again? It's Article Master plan. plan. You, any objection to reconsidering the master plan? That's one I really didn't want to reconsider. That's one I really don't want to reconsider either. Um, but out of fairness, and this is what's being the collegiality of records like okay, we, we, we talked about this on we, well, we just, right. November 26th for 15 and a half minutes. Yep. We talked on it again on uh, January 3rd for, for 20. 26 and three quarter minutes. Right. Well, I was just saying. Board of Selectmen, on the on contrary, spoke on this article on December 17th for a total of 59 seconds. And uh, they spoke again uh, Monday night, the 7th, for a total of 6 minutes and 43 seconds. So it is clear, based on that alone, we have spent more than twice the amount of time discussing this than the Board of Selectmen has. That's correct. And that may be why we're not real thrilled about doing it again. Well, Go ahead, Virginia. Make your case. Why I'm asking for reconsideration is because I attended a team that we've established in town, working with DES and uh, Jay Diener, Rayan, Rayan, myself, Nancy Styles, Bob Ladd. We are going to be having a zoning rep, and we also have the town planner and Mark Olson from the planning board on it, and it's to address all these different flooding issues we have going on all throughout town to do a better assessment, uh, to possibly work on getting some grants. So, and Jason brought up tonight at the meeting that this would also be a chapter if we were to uh, move to work on the master plan, which would just go in conjunction with everything we're talking about. I mean, I really think that getting a master plan into a working document needs to get done. I don't see Jason Bashand as a town planner letting it sit on a shelf. He's hoping that it will be a document that all boards can use to determine what should and shouldn't be done. So I just wanted to add the additional information that I received at my 3 o'clock meeting and how this, working with this team and all other state agencies and things like that, we're hoping to have some speakers come in and you know get the residents involved at some point and this would be an additional thing that would get added on to our master plan because it's it's really affecting a lot of people in the town not just down the main beach but really all over town i mean it's floody or it's swampy everywhere and something that really needs to be done about it mr Walbert, i'm going to compliment you again because one of the things that have stuck in my mind and why most of us were against this and, and I've seen it when I've been on boards. These master plans are fine if it's in your favor. If it isn't, it isn't. And you go before these develop these developers come for the planning zoning. The other thing I would add, long after I was gone and selected, Mr. Bashan works for the planning board, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, those guys could change too and have a whole new direction. I've seen too many plans in this town, and I think be, we need to have. What's that word? What do we do uptown? Amazing. What's that? I can never get that word. What Good we, stuff. What is it? Good stuff. No, what's the thing they call <laughs> charrette? Oh, a charrette. We've got charrettes. We have meetings and plans. I, I've been through this stuff. I, I was on the Rocky and Planning Commission. Went through all this stuff. It just it does sit on the shelf, unfortunately. And boards come and go. I think there needs to be more discussion about all kinds of things, including what you're talking. I love the flooding uh, issue you're addressing, but I haven't changed my tune on this because I've seen it happen. I'm absolutely in agreement with Chairman Jones and what he said about this. Um, it. <laughs> We put it in, and believe me, the, the lawyers and the developers and the boards all find it when it's in their favor. Then it's not. We don't care about the master plan. So that's all I have. This, this is a plan. Right. To fund a plan. To create a plan. To create a plan. That will ultimately produce a plan. Right. And when I asked Jason where he would guess the cost to be actually producing the real plan, yeah. he didn't know. Right. He had no idea. I asked him if it would be six figures, and he said he didn't know. But you know, Brian, you were around when we did the beach master plan. Correct. And wasn't that like over 200000 or 300000 uh, It kept like creeping that? up, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So it was well into the six figures. So we, we're voting on this 18000 like it's nothing. But really what's going to happen is you're going to vote for That's this. That's correct. And then a year or two or three down the road, they're going right. to come back and say, we need $300,000 to complete the, the, the mm -hmm. plan. And if you don't give it to us, you just wasted $18,000 a couple of years ago by having us do this work. So I see this more as a more than $18,000 kind of a thinking process to be applied here. 
So we just sit now, with if the you mask. Look at, please, if, you, if you look at the actual warrant article I have highlighted, what the work is supposed to be, what the work is supposed to be, if we actually give them the $18,000 to do this. We're going to establish and facilitate a master plan steering committee. Yeah. I wonder how much it costs to establish and facilitate a master plan steering committee. Well, I'm pretty sure that members of the zoning board want to be on that, so I don't think it's going to cost us much. Right. Facilitating, like facilitating inter-municipal coordination. I don't know why that would cost anything. Initiating a visioning process resulting in a draft vision chapter. I mean, do not we have staff already to write that? Well, uh, that's what I was going to say. And preparing a uh, master plan template. Well, isn't the RPC already providing a, or has offered to provide said template? Uh, so I really don't get what the, what this is going to produce. Uh, it's going to produce allegedly a plan to create a plan, but what do you need the eighteen thousand dollars for? That's not clear. Uh, to me, I don't see any cost items in there. Right, right. You have any consequence that couldn't be done with existing uh, resources. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, I, I've listened to Jason. And you know, if I had a master plan with a big thick book, I, would, I wouldn't just bring it in and wave it in front of my boss. I'd say, look, I've been through this thing page by page. You're way off base with this book for a master plan. Well, let me give you some, t I'll give you 20 examples while this master plan is completely obsolete. That's right. And then we ought to change it. I would convince him that I'd be right. Okay. I, I don't know what's in that master plan. I know some good people worked on it. Whether he's been through that book and actually has looked at it chapter by chapter and come, come away with a strong sediment, I don't know that. He didn't sell me on that. I've heard a couple of the presentation a couple of times. So I agree with, with Tim, with what Tim said, and Brian as well. Uh, I, I, at this point in time, I plead no on this. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. Anyone else want to speak to this? Great. Uh, is there a motion to recommend Mr. LeBranch? Thank I'll you very much. Seconded by Mr. Frank. Thank you very much. Uh, all those who actually were in favor of recommending this, please raise your hand. One, two, that would be Regina and Mr. Frank. Uh, all those who actually do not recommend this, please raise your hand. That would be uh, everybody else. Two, six. Yeah. 